Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with Call of Cthulhu blind. Now, last time I didn't talk to the bootleggers, so let's do that now. What you looking at, stranger? What? What does that mean? Why is he talking to her, presumably about her, in the third person? I, I don't understand what this means. This is kind of pointless. So, so, so I guess given the fact that I don't understand what this means, I'll try to mm, hit on her, although I doubt it's going to be successful. The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. <laughs> okay, so she's clearly not a fan of me. I told you to beat it. Which makes sense, because she's uh, involved with illegal activi activities, so obviously you wouldn't want to be disturbed. But, but to be honest, uh, they they were pretty open with discussing parts of it. Like if you knew some context from the note that you found that they found in uh, Fitzroy's office, you could easily tell that she's cat. So not much of a conspiracy there. Uh, okay, let's check this. Okay, this is currently closed. So I think that that concludes. Uh, that concludes the exploration of the tavern. Let's go outside then. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. Wait, what sailors? Hmm. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. I shall take my leave. Mm. Okay, can I open... Any of those doors, maybe? And find hidden items there. Spot hidden skill allows you to detect hidden items. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Mm, lever activates a mechanism. A handle. It must come from these old winches. Ah, so presumably to open the grate. Mm, a ratchet device enables heavy loads to be lifted. This ratchet device seems to be usable. Okay, how do I... Okay. Cogwheel is part of a mechanism. An old cogwheel. Rusty. But in working order. Ah, okay, so it shows me. Vertebra. 
If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Ah, right, because they haven't caught any whales in, what, 50 years now or something? More than that. It's about 70. Um, it's, it's interesting and kind of cool that it actually shows me that I found everything uh, that there is to be found in this location, but it didn't point me directly, uh, you know, into the items. I still had to look for them, but at least I can rest assured that I found all of them and I don't have to, uh, you know, keep searching indefinitely. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. Well, let's try it. Looks it. like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. Hmm. Okay, so I opened... I opened... way into the sewers or something? But to be honest, I don't feel like going there yet because... Would like to explore the rest of the town first. Okay, there's a car block blocking the way. So, what's this gathering about? Let the police do their work. Hey, Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? You've seen how old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. Hmm. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. The cops, they can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. Hmm, so I, I guess I don't have enough of a, a, a high enough medicine skill to determine that. What could have done so much damage? Well, probably some kind of a sea monster, knowing Lovecraft. Let's talk to the police, actually. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. To be honest, I do feel like he's out of his depth, but I don't know how my character would know that. Because obviously he doesn't know he's part of a Lovecraftian story. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you... Oh. You didn't tell me that the warehouse I was looking for was right in front of us. Because its owner is dead. And I don't want to see you hanging around it. Now, please, leave us to our work. You can't understand. Mm, okay, he wasn't too helpful. Water, and it seems I can't talk with the other guy. Cops, they can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Perhaps. Forget it. Nobody listens to At first I thought uh, it was That's rats no that are moving element. around, but I guess oh, crabs yeah. make more sense uh, on the shoreline. You can't understand. You're not but sailing. I'm not sure. Hmm. It's so it was There's thrown onto the, uh, onto the shore. Like this, so what, what is the meaning of this? Like, 
is it supposed to be taken as a warning that something that lives in the water, uh, you know, has uh, killed this creature and then thrown the corpse uh, as a warning for the sailors? Where do you think you're going? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? Test eloquence. Well, I just upgraded that, so let's give it a try. What's the difference between a police officer and a private detective? The badge? Exactly. Apart from that piece of metal, there's nothing that sets us apart. You think so? We're looking for the same thing, you and I. Okay, okay, spare me the next verse. I'll tell you what I know. There are sailors who think that there's a beast prowling around the docks. And then again, these guys panic at the thought of bringing a rabbit onto a boat, so... I see. And there are others who would like to use the warehouses for their goods. Who are they? Sorry. I really can't talk about them. Well, so that's probably the bootleggers. Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll definitely be going, and I assume this is the this is the mansion, right? On the hill. I'll definitely be going there at some point. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. Wait, who is Saint Brandon? I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows Saint Brandon, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Hmm. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers? Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Because uh, they said that they suspect the um, bootleggers of vandalizing the statue. Which might very well be true, but they also said that one of them is like frequently making trips there, back and forth, which makes me think that there might be a secret stash there or something. Because if they just wanted to vandalize the statue, uh, they would just do it, and why would they then return? Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. 
Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. It's actually kind of sad that they are apparently so poor that they live in an overturned boat with a huge hole in it. Isn't that a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy hmm. gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. I was about to question how can they even afford alcohol if they have no job. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Hmm. Okay, let's see that statue they mentioned. So I imagine this is it. Okay, this, this is kind of infuriating that I can't climb this uh, because this this is such an obvious, you know, artificial gate. Uh, you can't jump in this game, but obviously the protagonist should be able to easily mantle over here. So it kind of annoys me that he can't. Maybe it'll become available later. Hmm. Damnation, I broke it. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Well, I guess I have... I don't know. Too bad. Um, not not high enough of a skill to open this lock. It's no use. The padlock won't give. I don't think there's another way to enter this. Kind of unfortunate. But oh well. Hmm. So it's the, f the face with this weird language. And again with the green lanterns. Hey, the, the statue itself is kind of weird, to be honest. Uh, with the you know, fish, serpent, St. Brendan the Navigator. Wait. Sixth century? How does that make sense? How could like he would be he would have to be one of the very early Christians uh, mm, you know right after the fall of the Roman Empire uh, how could how could he be a patron of uh, whaling? I don't think whaling was a thing uh, before like the more modern times, because I don't think you could uh, reliably hunt a whale uh, back then. Mm. Well, although I might be mistaken, but I, I, I always thought that, like, I, I have never um, connected, uh, like, ancient times with, uh, with uh, the practice of whaling, so it's weird to me that they've chosen a saint, uh, uh, you know, such an early saint, to uh, mm, to represent them, and to be honest, it might be a bit of my shortcoming, you know, as far as knowledge of uh, of Christian theology goes, because I have no idea if this is a real saint. It, it might very well be, but if it isn't, then I wouldn't know. Saint Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Ah, sailors and travelers. I can't even say which language it's written in. Well, so S Sailors and Travelers is much more reasonable, you know, a broader uh, portfolio than specifically Whalers. 
although he does have a harpoon in his hand. Also, his head is kind of weird, but it might be because mm, the stone has been weathered by the elements. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Mm, still kind of salty that I broke my lockpick there. out I'll have serious problems. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Hmm. Maybe I can persuade them to leave. I did put some point into some points into persuasion. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Why we don't have a clear conscience. Quiet. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Okay, I I'll save this for last. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors. Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? So, who are you? Are you stupid, or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Cat, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> And maybe if I push it, maybe I can somehow make them think that she's angry with them and make them run away or hide or something. She sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. Well, didn't really help. Hmm. Not, not sure how stating that would help, but it seems less... Because if I fail this, they're probably going to kill me. So I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Okay, I'll try it, just because it's there. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Mm. Okay, so... I bid you gentlemen farewell. Unfortunately, I guess if I, I want... can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. 
I guess I won't be getting inside. I I'm still kind of annoyed that I uh, wasn't able to get in here. Mm. Because one of the thugs was making frequent trips to the statues, and this is the only interactable object around here. It's no use. Which I've makes me think that this is probably their stash or something, and maybe I could have found something there that would help me convince them to leave. But uh, things being as they are, mm, I think I don't really have a choice. Like, this is the warehouse. The, this building is the warehouse, but the front case, gate is closed. So, I guess the sewers mm, back here uh, must also eventually lead there, because I see no other... Yeah, it's kind of connected as a large building, because I see no other way to enter it apart from here. Anything to add? You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. Uh, not really. I shall take my leave. Well, so, as I said, don't have much of a choice. So let's go down here. Oh, this is full of some gas. <coughs> Will it kill me if I don't get out? Or is it a simply a visual effect? <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> <coughs> Smoke. I hope it's well. It kind of feels <laughs> toxic, judging from its effects. It also doesn't look like something that's natural. It's like swirling and shadowy inside. It's like a like an imprisoned mist or something. It looks like a magical potion. Why would you light it? And specifically while wading through water. Like, what's the purpose of it? It's not like it gives... First of all, it's not like it's... Whoa, what's that? Uh... Okay, that's a little early to be attacked by... Cthulhu-ish monster already, but... Oh, so presumably it was just a hallucination? Judge, judging by the fact that he threw away a bit of seaweed instead of a tentacle. Mm. But, judging, uh, coming back to my original point, uh, first of all, it's not like it's that dark uh, in here. And second, so so I can clearly see where I'm going even without the lighter. Uh, and second, mm, it's kind of weird to use it when you're, you know, uh, sh shoulder deep nearly in water uh, with such a shallow uh, mm, ceiling. This is primitive. Mm, so I guess. This must be the remnants of the previous culture that was here, the one that the that the book talked about. You know, the the natives uh, worshiping strange gods in here. Mm, can't really discern much from this picture. Just some people in boats and this green whirlwind. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Oh, well, imagine that's exactly what I'm supposed to find out. Hmm. 
I'm not sure why the jump had to be so dramatic. Reconstruction. Press both mouse buttons to enter a reconstruction scene. Mm. So, so I guess this is going to be a scene in which the protagonist will attempt to use his, you know, d detective skills to discern uh, what happened here. Mm. It doesn't look like I can interact with any of the objects so far. To be honest, uh, this painting almost looks kind of more disturbing than the other one from the beginning because uh, because it's so old and uh, damaged that it seems kind of distorted. Like, this guy's face is like, it's almost like melting here at the cheek. Mm. But I can't interact with anything, so it seems I have to enter this reconstruction mode to discern what had happened broken mirror what happened here well I guess somebody didn't like the reflection or something Th that's usually the reason why people smash mirrors in fiction you know they look upon themselves and for example, are, are reminded or of some wrong they committed, or or simply disfigured because of an uh, of an accident or a wound, and they cannot bear to look at their own face. Okay, there's a photo. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Interesting indeed. So I guess my detective intuition is telling me that there was somebody sleeping here and cradling this photo this photo. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Mm, I think it is. I think the signature is actually the same. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Ah, so that's sleeping pills. It smells as bad as it looks. Hmm. Okay, the, the, the fish viscera is interesting because it reminds me of the intro nightmare where it was referred to as an offering. And it's also, I guess, connected with the... Mm, with the, the dead fish on uh, on the on the beach on the shore uh, who has enough money to buy painkillers but stays in a place like this i don't know anything else up here to leave a reconstruction scene so am i done here how can i tell because earlier I was praising the system where uh, it had a little like confirmation that you found everything. La Petite Parisienne. I have no idea what's this about and I can't really read any of the articles because it's far too zoomed out. But earlier I was praising the system when it let me know that I've found everything but now it doesn't seem to display so I'm not sure if I found everything, but it kind of looks like it. Mm. Well, I think that's everything. So let's go out. Maybe some activities are now available in the outside. Uh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is. Why is he going forward? Why isn't he fleeing? Is there anyone in there? Like he's literally walking towards Detective the police. Pierce. 
that are about I told to catch you to stay him. Stay away from this warehouse. Kind of weird. I'm not going to threaten him. Let's try this, although my psychology skill is rather low. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. Yeah, that's what I figured. You see the building? That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Okay, so Garden of the Hawkins Mansion. Uh, Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place thought to be abandoned revealed some surprises. Sign of recent occupation as well as a partly charred painting. Interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawking mansion. I still don't really understand why Pierce uh, didn't react at all. Well, actually he did, but he reacted in the totally counterintuitive way, because when he heard the police, he was already on his way to leave through the back door, and instead he turned around and started walking towards the front door as it was being opened, which I find kind of weird. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Your partner, Andrew, has warned me against him. You manage to get something out of that bomb, I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kinda unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? 
Mm. That isn't that good of a question, uh, because it, it, it seems it seems it seems to be mm, to be postulated in a way uh, that, that suggests that the protagonist is mm, that the protagonist somehow spotted you know uh, uh, what's the word incongruence I think you know a difference uh, a mistake in 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 the versions that do not match up but i don't think like it is, it is totally reasonable for me uh, when hearing the phrase burned down in a fire to still expect the actual building to be there because you know it's pretty difficult um, to burn down something completely especially if it's not made 100 percent of wood but still let's try it i see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building you're pretty damn observant ain't you oh the fire was quickly contained old silas acted as soon as he could not soon enough to save the hawkins they were trapped in the drawing room and don't go troubling silas anymore his guilt torments him enough as it is are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion or do you have other questions okay so this is indeed Mm, uh, an incongruence, if that is the proper word, because to be honest, at this point, I can't remember. Uh, because, mm, obviously, if there isn't, I wasn't sure if there's damage, you know, uh, on the building itself. But it seems, from what he told me now, that the fire was actually kind of small. It was limited to only a part of the building inside, mm, which sort of casts doubts uh, on this whole idea that uh, it's the fire that killed them, because if it was so minor, then how is it that they couldn't escape it? Uh, which I guess, again, is the point, because the exact reason I'm here is because uh, her father uh, doesn't trust the official version of events. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee. If you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? Okay. Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather go alone, because if the pre police is corrupt or something, then they probably, he wants to keep tabs on me and to see what I do, so... Although in the vision, there was the policeman who died, so I wonder if it was him. Mm. But, but then again, it's yet another, another reason to go alone, because if he won't go with me, then he won't die. Or at least has a lesser possibility of dying. You stay here and keep an eye on things. Okay, but don't get the impression that I'll leave you alone inside the mansion. Mm. Uh, so I guess he's going to join me in the end, anyway. 
That's a remarkably creepy environment. With the crooked dead trees everywhere. Like, th there's not a single leaf on any of them. There is the lighthouse again. And the view of the coast and the port. And there is the Scylla. Someone is using the fireplace. I suppose that this is where old Winchester lives. Ah, so that's the groundkeeper's house. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Recently fallen. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. Sturdy. And well sharpened. Wait, so f f the protagonist said it's fallen, but oh, I guess it could have, like, because I was wondering about the axe, but then I realized it makes total sense. Even if it has fallen down, it makes total sense to chop it up. Uh, because first of all, it was it would clear the road, and second, you can use the wood, you know, as firewood or something, if you wanted. But whoa, cheapers. Pose prophetic raven. Okay, wasn't expecting that jump scare. But this episode has been long enough, so once again, I'm going to check the journal, and if you're not interested in that, you can just skip the rest. So. New information. Uh, wait, damn it, I didn't. Hmm. I didn't read the previous uh, chapter and descriptions because I, I don't think I can go back. Oh, I can. Okay, so I guess I'll read this first because I, I did I didn't at first. Hmm. Darkwater dogs. On approaches to dark water, I saw thick clouds masking the sky. They were so low, they seemed intent on Im impaling themselves on the sharp reefs that circled the island. Fitzroy, the captain of the only tub that manages to float to the mainland, offered to help me. He may have documents that belong to Charles Hawkins. Fitzroy advised me to visit the port's bar. He mentioned a little picking up. I suppose I could, I could get the lay of the land at the same time. Fishermen have gathered around the carcass of a killer whale. Uh, I could have have a look and see what the local cops got to tell me. Wait, it was a whale? It looked really small for a whale. But I know there are different kinds of whales and they are of different size. Mm, but still. Mm, Captain Fitzroy offered to share with me what he has found at the Hawking Archives in the Harbour Master's office. I learned nothing from Fitzroy's documents, but I did get confirmation what I've been suspecting since Boston. The warehouse mentioned on the shipping label of Sir Hawking's painting belongs to the Hawkings. It's on the docks. I must find a way to get into it. A gang of bootleggers occupy the warehouse zone. Of course, they're standing between my trail and me. But to find a way to avoid them, or else get rid of them to continue my investigation. I inspected the Hawking's warehouse. The place is foul and haven't seen any commercial activity for years. Uh, however, I did find signs of recent occupation as well as several objects linking it to the Hawking's case, including a partially charred painting. Officer Bradley confirmed to me that it came from the Hawking's mansion. And the current objective is... Uh, Garden of the Hawking's Manor. Officer Bradley drove, drove us along the cliffs of Darkwater to the Hawking Mansion. Uh, the huge house, set on the edge of a steep, steep summit, looks onto the lighthouse. The place seemed to be abandoned for some time. Bradley told me about an old caretaker still living here. He shouldn't prevent us from getting into the mansion. Okay, now Pierce. I have two character points. What would I like to upgrade? I guess I'll... I 
guess I'll upgrade, upgrade psychology a bit. To be honest, I don't care at all about strength, and I can't upgrade any of those with my character points. So I guess I'll try to keep an even spread of those. Mm, or even ish. Mm, spread of those, because they all they all seem kind of useful. Mm. Okay, skills. Sanity. Oh, got a new. Uh, that's from the vision I had in, uh, in the canals or whatever. Uh, the submerged city. While investigating the Hawking's warehouse, Pierce entered a party submerged tunnel that ran under the docks. There, something took hold of his arm and tried to drag him beneath the surface. Drowning, the detective caught glimpses of human and animal bodies as well as an underground city, Pierce managed to make it back to the surface to discover that, rather than tentacles, it was seaweed that has wrapped itself around his arm. The vision, nevertheless, disturbed him by its clarity and violence. I am still stable, so... <laughs> but it's only the second event. There is... what? More than 10. Like 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16 more. So there's quite a lot of insanity yet to be experienced. Uh, okay, this is new. Officer Bradley, police officer. This hick cop likes order and justice. He's no great sleuth, uh, but he seems more inclined than his colleagues to discover the truth in the Hawkins case. The inhabitants of the island seem to be friendly with him. He could help me in my investigation. Close. Mm, okay, I guess this is mostly Oh, interesting. So this is like a summary. I was about to say this is mostly mostly pointless because those are all the same, but I guess the summary could be useful because this is new. Uh, Hawking's Workhouse. Officially unused, this warehouse recently housed a clandestine resident. Signs of his life attest to the fact. The presence of bloodstained bandages must also be noted, probably removed from a wound, as well as pills, painkillers and sleeping pills. Moreover, the occupant seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins, as is attested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's lives. Photograph press cutting. Wait, damn it. I, I wanted to investigate the press cutting, but I couldn't, so I I'm, guess I somehow overlooked that. Maybe, maybe I didn't look at it in the actual reconstruction part, only later. Mm, whatever. But it's the discovery of a partly charred painting, recognized by Officer Bradley as having come from the Hawkins mansion, that allows all doubts to be lifted as to the link between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case. Okay. And nothing yet in 3. Um, I always, I'm not sure why, but I always overlook uh, the, the other tabs. I just uh, skip to the other section. But there is a new place to be read about which is the Hawking Mansion Gardens. It's per the mansion is perched atop the steep cliff. The abandoned garden harbors the graves of the Hawkins family, and the only old caretaker, Silas Winchester, still roams the bleak spot. He protects it fiercely and still puts flowers on the graves of his old masters. It's a gloomy place. And then the occult, the statue of St. Brandon. Does the pa patron sale of Saint of Wales and Wales still protect the sailors of dark water. Visibly, there were other gods before Saint Brendan, and their worshippers do not seem to be of this opinion. The locals still worship the old saint, but a mark was made on his statue by another cult. Okay, and with that, um, it's actually the end of this episode, so I'm going to end it here. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!